Good morning, welcome to Friday Worship. It's our Easter Friday Worship on our last day of term and I've brought myself back to the naughty step. Can you believe it's a year since I did that video where I said I was on the naughty step? I think because I'd broken my uh, Lent things that I'd given up, I think I'd eaten some chocolate or something. A whole year where the whole world has been totally different. So it felt right on this last day of term to come to you from the naughty step again. So I hope this uh, video this morning, this not this video, this um, worship this morning finds you well, whether you're a grown up at home watching or whether you're in your class with your teachers. Let's just invite God to be part of what we're doing this morning. So we light our three candles in the name of the Father and of the Son. really crackling in the Holy Spirit and that's all that doesn't set the smoke detector off and let's just be still Heavenly Father come now wherever we are whether we're in class or we're at home be our God be part of our service hear our prayers and speak to us this morning as we celebrate our school and as we think about Easter time Amen. So, Miss Schofield also asked me to talk a little bit this morning about Easter because we're going to see this morning different things from each class relating to Easter. And she asked me in particular whether I would start off by sharing what Easter means to me. And um, Easter, really, to me, someone who's a Christian, someone who's a person of faith, means everything. If there wasn't Easter, if Jesus didn't die, and then more importantly, come back to life again it wouldn't mean anything at all it would be pointless um and i just wanted to share you i've told you this before is my favorite bit of the bible and i told year three this last week as well i wonder if you can remember year three which bit i said was my favorite bit of the bible i'll just give you a second to think i wonder well here it is i'm going to read it to you so this is a, an extract from luke this is where jesus is on the cross and there's some criminals either side of him one there and one there, and they've done some really bad things. Um, one of the criminal, uh, sorry, yeah, one of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at Jesus. Aren't you the Christ? Aren't you God? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. That means he told him off and shouted at him and said, don't you fear God? Since you're under the same sentence, we are here because we deserve it. We're getting what we deserve. But this man, and they mean Jesus, had done nothing wrong. And this is the bit I really like. Then he said to Jesus, Jesus, please, will you remember me when you come into your kingdom? And Jesus answered him, I tell you the truth. Today you will be with me in paradise. And that was Jesus promising the person next to him on the cross who was sorry and asked Jesus to remember him. That's Jesus promising that he will be with, in heaven, be with him in heaven. And that's just the same as it was for that person that had done something wrong. It's the same 2,000 years later for us. That this life, this amazing life that we've got, isn't all there is. There's something else that goes on forever and ever with God after we've died. And that is the absolutely amazing thing. And that is why I'm a Christian. And that is the most important thing about Easter to me. So I thought I would share that with you this morning and I hope you'll think about that during the day and as you're watching the amazing things that our classes are doing this morning for our Easter worship. Good morning and now it's time to find out who our fabulous stars of the week are this week and I will start with reception class. So this week we have chosen... Kian, well done Kian, you really have been a superstar. Ever since he came back to school, he has been so keen to learn. He's always asking if he can do another challenge, can I do some more writing? And he really wants his brain to grow bigger, he said. So really, really proud of you Kian, keep up the hard work. And this week we did a tricky word Easter egg hunt in our garden outside. And Kian was the first one to finish. He wrote all the tricky words next to the right numbers. So well done Kian. Keep up the hard work and you really have been a concentrating crocodile this week. So well done.
Hello everyone. This week's star of the week for year one is Madison. Well done Madison. Madison has been great this week. She's been such a good help, always willing to help her friends, always willing to come and help do my activities, set out the tables. She's done some fantastic weeding in our flower beds. Um, she's also done some fantastic writing, really concentrated on that letter formation and answered all of Mrs Hartley's questions in phonics, coming up with fantastic I words. So well done Madison, keep it up girl, proud of you. Good morning everybody and good morning to year two. This week's star of the week for year two goes to... Ryan. Well done, Ryan. We are super proud of you this week. Ryan has done some awesome listening this week and he's really listened to instructions and followed instructions really, really well. He's worked really well for Mrs Connell. She's been so impressed with how he's applied his learning. He's been super sensible and been a really kind friend. So keep up this amazing work, Ryan. You are awesome. We are super proud of you in year two. Well done, buddy. Hi, Year 3. Our star of the week this week is... Jenny. Well done, Jenny. Jenny, you've had an all-round great week this week. You've been really well behaved in class. You have done some fantastic different kinds of throws in PE and worked well in a group traveling and finding space and you also pushed yourself out of your comfort zone um, to film something for worship this week if we haven't seen that bit already spoiler alert Jenny's in it so um, well done Jenny it's really really lovely to see you really pushing yourself with your learning and being a pleasure to be in class You for a star of the week this week is Leah. Well done, Leah. V fantastic work. Just being an all rounder all the time. Uh, so well done. You're a pleasure to have in class. We love seeing your smiley face. Well, well done, Leah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Year Five. Our star of the week this week is Georgia. Well done, Georgia. You've got this week for always trying your best in everything that you do and persevering when completing challenging tasks. Georgia's found some of the maths really tricky recently, but she's got her head down, she's got stuck in, and she's really given it 100%. So well done, Georgia. Keep up the good work. Good morning everybody. The star of the week for year six this week is Charlotte. Well done Charlotte. We are so impressed with you this week because you have worked so hard. We've especially been impressed with your work in guided reading because you've just done really well and you've worked really hard on your inference skills and we were really impressed with how much you persevered and how hard you tried this week in maths because we have been doing algebra and it has been a little bit tricky and you found it challenging but you never once gave up you weren't scared to ask for help and you just kept on trying and trying and trying and you've made excellent progress this week with your algebra so we thought you very very much deserved start of the week this week so well done charlotte and keep it up Jupiter have got 298 points, well done Jupiter. Mars have got 199 points, well done. Venus has 257 points and for our winners this week is Saturn with 410 points. Well done. Hi, welcome back to TT Rock Flares Battle. The winners for this week are boys with 2,710 2, points and girls lost with 2,557 points. The next battle over the holidays are year 6 versus year 4 and year 5 versus year 3. Good luck. Bye. 
Good morning everyone, reading eggs time. It's the last one for this term and before we break up for the Easter holidays, but remember, reading doesn't have to be a school thing. It can be something that you can enjoy during the holidays as well, so don't forget about it. We're going to start off with our certificates today. We're going to start off with our Fast Phonics certificates. We've got children in reception year one and year two all getting certificates today. So in reception, Eska, you've reached the end of peak 10, well done. And Amaya, you've reached the end of peak 11, so well done to you. In year one, Lois, you've reached the end of peak 12. And Daniel, you've reached the end of peak 16. That's brilliant work. And in year two, Aaron, you've also reached the end of peak 16. Corby, you've reached the end of peak 14, as has Kane, so well done to you. And Leon has reached the end of peak 15. Our other certificates for Reading Eggs and Reading Express this week are for Amaya in reception, Imran in year one, and then in our uh, junior classes, uh, sorry, forgot about year two then, Lily May in year two, and Alfie in year two, and then into the juniors, we've got a certificate for Lucas in year five. So well done to those children. This week I've chosen um, our stars of the week for reading eggs to be on the books read, and it makes me really excited because I'm actually reading quite a lot of different names who I don't think I've read about on reading eggs before this part of worship. So our books read the most um, in the different classes in reception, a mayor. In year one, Philip. In year two, Emily and Lily May. In year three, Benjamin and Julia. In year four, Caitlin. Year five, Anto and Ava. And in year six, nobody, because they haven't been reading. Year six, what's going on? Okay, we might need to have a little conversation about this after the holidays. Um, and I'm sure Mrs Bibby and Miss Kelly and Mr East will be working on rectifying that. Um, this week, the extra stars of the week have been for the increase in Lexiles. Now, Lexiles basically is a posh word for saying how well you have done and how much you've come on in your reading. And the children who've made the most progress this week are Alfie in reception and Joshua in year three. That's brilliant news. Well done, boys. And well done to everyone who I've mentioned today. See you later. It's me again and this time I am here with birthdays and we have got a couple of birthdays in school this week and then some children are celebrating their birthdays in the holidays and we've got some staff birthdays as well. So in school this week we have got Jaden in year six and Riley in year four. Wow brothers and both of your birthdays in the same week. That's an expensive um, week for your household. And in the holidays, we have got Brian in year three. It's going to be your birthday, so have a fabulous day, Brian. Jens in year four. Happy birthday, Jensen. Hope you have a lovely day. Joshua in year three. Hope your day is magical. Lola in year five. Happy birthday to you, Lola. Have a wonderful time. The wonderful Oscar from reception class. Have a great day, Oscar. Uh, Amy in year five. It's going to be your birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Ella in year one. Wow, Ella, you are going to be, let me think about this, six. How amazing is that? Have a wonderful day, Ella, in holidays. And Alexander in reception class. Hope you have a fantastic day, Xander, and we'll hear all about it when you get back to school. And the staff birthdays, we've got Mr. Hudson, who had his birthday uh, yesterday. So happy birthday, Mr. Hudson. We hope you had a wonderful day. And in the holidays, it will be Mrs. Brown's birthday. I wonder how you will celebrate your birthday, Mrs. Brown. Hmm. Hope everybody has a fabulous birthday. And we've got some little friends who would like to sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Dear God, 
Protect all the people in Esther Chase. Amen. Amen. Morning everybody and here's the good news for this week. I've got quite a list that I've got to get through so I might have to read some of it. Um, first of all in reception they went on their first spring walk and they had a wonderful time in their wellies and they saw a secret waterfall, a hidden waterfall and when they were crossing the bridge coming back they could hear a noise and they thought it might be a troll. Anyway it turned out it was Miss, Mrs Rothwell tricking them but they all got a bit scared. How exciting. Hope you enjoyed your walk reception. Um, in year one, they've been planting some vegetables and they've, um, they've got the flower beds, they've put all the topsoil in and they've been digging. I saw them doing that yesterday. And so hopefully, as you're walking into school, onto the playground, have a look for when they start to grow because there should be lots of nice vegetables coming up in the vegetable patch. So really looking forward to, to that. They've also planted some sunflowers as well to see those grow and I think they'll be taking those home. Maybe we need a sunflower competition. Um, in year three, Benjamin, who I mentioned could play Baby Shark on the piano, sent me his, um, a video of playing it. I really enjoyed watching that, Benjamin. Well done. It was very impressive. And Jaya and Janie from year three and year five, they're really excited because they can finally go back to their holiday club. It's not been running for a whole year but it starts again this Easter, so they're really looking forward to that. Hope you enjoy it, girls. Um, right, big list from year four. They're good news. Riley and also Jade and his brother in year six have got a new puppy, and he's called Coda, apparently. Um, Lacey has got a new stair carpet, and it's got white sparkles on it. Sounds very exciting, Lacey. She said it's also good for sliding. Hmm. Are you allowed to do that? Um... Marcelina has got some pink glittery curtains as well. So they sound wonderful, Marcelina. Um, Leah has a new TV she's quite impressed with. And Billy's niece has got a new tooth. All oh, that news. Fantastic. Well done, year four. Um, in year five, then they... Well, Mrs Wilton wanted me to mention the hope trees. That's Everybody's put something on the hope trees, I think. And they're on... Uh, there's two of them in the playground. So have a look at those. They're really nice. Um, and also in year five, they have been doing shelters, making shelters in their outdoor learning. Um, so they've really been enjoying doing those. I'm going to come and have a look year five and see how far you've got. Um, and also something to look forward to after Easter is hopefully we should get some more after school clubs up and running. They should be starting. So it'll be for certain classes because we've got to still stick to bubbles. But at least there's something nice to look forward to after school. And that's all for this week. Good morning, children. I've got the pleasure this week of announcing who's got class of the week. So this is for the class that had the best attendance this week. And it goes to reception class. Well done, everyone. Give yourselves a huge pat on the back. Brilliant. Well done. And all have a lovely, lovely Easter break. Bye.
everyone. This is our Easter garden. I made it. My friend Leslie made it and my other friend Leslie made it and Flora but she's in here today. And these white beets, they are pretty and we made it with Flora but she's in here and it's got a little pond on these branches. And then um, these are the two bad people who put Jesus on the cross. This is the two what um, Jesus um, got put in by these two bad people. I just like Jesus because of Jesus has a new life and eggs have a new life. Like roosters, chickens, hens. Chicks. Jesus and and the butterfly has a new life because the butterfly can fly and Jesus and Jesus have a new life in heaven. Jesus went to Jerusalem on a donkey. Everyone cheered and cheered. Jesus got put to death. Jesus got put in a tomb. When Jesus, when Jesus' friends came to see him, he was gone. When Jesus' his friend looked in the corner, there was somebody there, and it was Jesus. They were very happy. Je Jesus talked to his friends, and then he went up to heaven. And his soul in his side. His soul is inside us. Happy Easter to all our friends and family. Always remember you are good. Perfect Bridge subscribe will warm us all up. Peter X from the Easter Bunny. Yellow flowers are growing in the sun. Easter is time to remember Jesus. A tomb to place his body in. Bring me a happy and family. Time to spend with the people we love. Easter egg hunts are fun to do. Remember to have a lovely, safe Easter break. Happy Easter is a happy time. Jesus died on the on the cross so that we would be forgiven our sins. Easter was a sad time. Jesus died and his friends and family were, were upset. Easter is a happy time. Jesus going to heaven reminds us that we can be welcome there too. Easter is a sad time. One of his disciples betrayed him. Easter is a happy time. It shows how much God loves us. Easter is a sad time. Jesus was a good man. He was in lots of pain. Early on Sunday morning whilst it was stock, Mary McIndoe went to the tomb and saw that that stone had been taken away from the entrance. She went running to Simon Peter and the other disciples whom, whom Jesus loved and told them that they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they have put him. Then Peter and the other disciple went to the team. The two of them were running, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and reached the team first. He bent over and saw the lining cloth. But he did not go in.
Behind him came Simon Peter, and he went straight into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there and the cloth which had been around Jesus' head. It was not lying with the linen cloths, but was rolled up by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in. He saw and believed. Mary Magdalene comes to the tomb where Jesus' Jesus's body has been laid, but she's, she sees that the stone which blocked the entrance of the tomb has moved, has been moved. What does she think has happened? She might think that someone moved the tomb to get in. I think um, someone has tried to steal the body. How do you think this makes her feel? She might feel shocked. She runs back to tell the disciples and Peter and John run to the tomb to see what has happened. When they get there, they see that the tomb is empty except for the clothes that had been wrapped around the body. The disciples realise that Jesus is rising from the dead and they believe in him. The message of the cross. Joy. Hope. Love. Salvation. Peace. Forgiveness, the cross is the central symbol for Christianity. The cross may be found in many forms, both inside and outside the church, and originally churches were built in the shape of a cross. The symbol of the cross usually found in church is the plain Latin cross. The cross speaks to Christians of the story of the death of Jesus and the belief that he rose from the dead. It is a reminder of his death, but the empty cross is also a symbol of hope for Christians because it reminds us of Jesus' resurrection. Christians have taken the shape of what was the Roman scaffold and used it as a symbol or statement of faith. In taking the shape as a symbol, different Christian cultures have made their own, retaining the basic form but adding different artistic and religious interpretations. The cross is the hope of Christians. The cross is the resurrection of the dead. The cross is the way of the lost. The cross is the staff of the lame. The cross is the guide of the blind. The cross is the strength of the weak. The cross is the doctrine of the sick. The cross is the aim of the priests. The cross is the hope of the hopeless. The cross is the freedom of the slaves. The cross is the power of the kings. The cross is the consolation of the bond men. The cross is the source of all who seek water. The cross is the cloth of the naked. The cross is the healing of the broken. The cross is the peace of the church. We thank you, Father, for the cross. Amen. Amen. Hi, welcome to Easter Watchers. We're going to find some some signs of Easter there. Let's go over here. Oh, look. What are you? We are bunnies. What, what are you symbol of Easter? We are born around Easter time, we represent new life. Well, how interesting is that? Let's see what the other Easter watchers have found. Hi guys, Riley, thank you for that amazing explanation. Bye, you're so good to learn some Easter symbols. Let's go. Whoa! What symbol of Easter are you? Easter eggs. Why is this a symbol of Easter? Because it represents a tombstone in the Easter story. Also, chickens are born from eggs and it represents a new life. What new life's got to do with it? Jesus was born again at Easter. 
Whoa, I've learned so much today. I'm going to head back to the studio. So that's worship for another day, for another term. Amazing, really good. Well done, everybody that's contributed this morning. Uh, happy birthday to all those whose birthday it is. Uh, well done our stars of the week and anyone who's won anything on Reading Eggs and it's great to hear the good news as well this morning. All it leaves me to do then is to say to have a happy, peaceful and safe Easter. Try to remember amidst the fun of the Easter bunny and the chocolate and, uh, and the presents and, and all that comes with Easter just to remember what it's all about, that it's about Jesus and the hope that he gives us. And hope is an amazing thing. We're gonna say a prayer in a minute, and then when we've said the prayer, we'll blow out the candles. And as the smoke rises up, and hopefully doesn't set the smoke alarm off here in our house, in my house, um, we'll watch the smoke rise like our prayers rise. Let's just have a moment of quiet at the end of this busy term to be still. Lord, we thank you for bringing us almost to the end of a really difficult year. Thank you to people who've stepped up this past year. People in shops that kept serving us our food, people who kept driving buses and delivering things in lorries, people who work in hospitals, helping people or cleaning the hospitals or booking in appointments. Thank you for teachers and we thank you for our our staff in school, our, our, our amazing, amazing team at St James's who have been incredible. Thank you for each one. I pray that the staff find rest and peace and a bit of your love this Easter time. We pray for all our families in our community, that it's a community full of hope and love and friendship and enthusiasm and cooperation and all those gifts we've talked about many times that come from you bless us this easter keep us safe bring us back together after the holidays and we all say together brilliant so let's just offer those prayers up now as we blow the candles out i don't know if you can see the smoke well it's not really a lot but the smoke is disappearing off Upwards. Actually, you can see the smoke better from my boiler because the heating, Tom. I don't know whether that's healthy or not. So have a great Easter. Stay safe. And um, we'll see you um, two weeks on Monday.